Hello, I'm Holden Ramey with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's closing bell is sponsored by Vitafirm. Gain Smart Wheat is a free choice vitamin and mineral supplement for stalker cattle designed to balance basic nutrient needs for maximized efficient gain on wheat or small grain pasture. The seasonal pattern suggests that the beef market typically moderates in the November and December time frame, and this year is certainly no exception. Looking at the composite cutout value, which is a grade weighted representation of both the choice and select cutouts, we can see that it has been trending lower since reaching a fall high near $260 a hundredweight back in the beginning of November. On Tuesday of this past week, the composite cutout fell to $238 a hundredweight, over $20 off from its highs. However, in the latter half of the week, the cutout recovered and is slated to finish near $242. Through the balance of the year, the composite cutout is expected to hold a sideways price pattern. Pressure will likely come from the rib and tenderloin as both are expected to seasonally move lower in the coming weeks. At the same time, support could come from tighter supplies as packers look to reduce slaughter numbers and carcass weights begin to trend seasonally lower. For much of the fall, steer carcass weights have been running at or above year-ago levels. Carcass weights at the beginning of November put in an annual high at 931 pounds. However, current forecasts continue to show decreases in the coming weeks, which would put steer carcass weights back below year-ago levels. Turning to this week's markets, light trade occurred in the north with the bulk of trade between 156 to 157 live and 246 to 247 dressed, which ranges from steady to $2 lower than last week. As of the time of recording, light volumes had traded in the south at mostly 154, which is a dollar softer than last week. After a tough start to the week, the live cattle complex has rebounded here on Friday. The February contract is currently slated to finish near, near where it started the week, around 155 per hundred weight. Feeder cattle futures have been somewhat mixed on the week. However, the nearest by January contract has moved higher this week and should close near 184. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.